Yo, let's talk about how you can get a nice high contrast cursor through YOLO mouse. So down in the description, I'm going to have a link to this GitHub. It is the YOLO mouse. These are the latest beta releases. Uh, there is a licensed version that you can buy for, I think, $4 is what it is. So if you do end up liking this, I do recommend you to go grab that. It's something I'll probably do if I'm using this for a while and I like it a lot because honestly, even the high contrast cursor in PUE doesn't really feel like enough right now. Uh, I really need just like very, very visible cursor, especially in these ultimatum encounters. If I'm trying to pick up something really fast, it's much easier to see this kind of like bright pink. Uh, I can make it a little bit bigger if I want. It's very customizable. Uh, you can cycle through and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But go down here, grab the MSI right here, YOLO mouse 64 MSI. Uh, the first time I downloaded it, I got a Windows error. Uh, if that skews you out, then I guess you can't download this. I don't know. It just happens for um, unlicensed or, you know, whatever software, which is something that is fixed in the uh, paid for version. Although this is the free one. So think of it more as like a kind of demo. And if you like it, you know, do go and support this guy. Uh, he has his own website. I think if you go to even just his GitHub here or you just Google YOLO mouse, you'll find the actual website for the now new and updated uh, frequently version. If you do grab that one uh, and don't get the license, keep in mind, it'll keep bugging you. I think like every half hour or something that you should pay for the license, like four bucks. So, you know, if you don't want to deal with that, this is the way to go. Anyways, though, once you get that, go ahead, install it, then go ahead and find YOLO mouse. For me, I love to just press Windows key. I just type YOLO and then I run it as administrator. Now, once you've got this up and running, you're going to want to make sure you go to your UI settings. This is something that a lot of people who were using it before were having problems with. Go to UI. And uh, we're going to want to turn off the hover cursor and the clicked cursor. If you have this on, it actually changes the cursors and you can go around this, but just turn these off for now. Um, it's where when you click on something, the cursor changes, right? If you have it normally, um, you know, you can see here when I'm clicking, the cursor's changing. Uh, when I'm hovering, the cursor changes. Uh, so just go ahead and get rid of those. And then you'll have just one static uh, cursor here. Now, when you get it up and running, just hold Control, Alt, and press 1 on your keyboard. And doing that is going to bring up this very first cursor here. And then you can cycle through. You can have this circle here. I think Khan uses that. Uh, you can have this weird little, uh, you know, crosshair. You can have an X, uh, a little Nyan cat, I guess. Uh, I like this big one here. Uh, if you do control alt two, it's going to cycle to these really obnoxious kind of like 3d kind of ones. Uh, I prefer just to have this normal one and then control alt three is going to cycle through the colors. There's lots of really bright colors. Uh, this orange one, you know, in my hideout, it's not going to show up very well. Uh, but you know, there's red here. Uh, the ones that I'm leaning between are going to be this high contrast one where it's like inverting the colors. So this makes it a little easy, right? When you hover over a blue thing or your flask, it's going to be inverted. So it makes it a little bit easier to see where your cursor's at. Or I'm going to control alt three to this pink one, which is pretty obnoxious as well, which is nice because I want the colors to be obnoxious. So when I'm in an ultimatum or I'm in a delirium, you know, and there's a bunch of stuff going around. Uh, you know, beyond monsters, etc. I'll be able to see my cursor and click. Very last thing is going to be increasing and decreasing the size of the cursor. You're going to hold again, control alt, and then you're going to pl uh, press plus and minus. So control alt plus is going to make it really big. Uh, keep in mind, if you do this with your tab here, it's going to make uh, or, uh, with your tab or with your mini map here, your tab maps, it's going to make the maps bigger or smaller as well sometimes. I was encountering that earlier, so you'll just have to fix that. But you can have a super obnoxiously large cursor, or you can bring it all the way down to something, you know, a little more manageable. Although we're trying to do this so we can see our cursor at all times. So it's just going to kind of expand the back of it. The pointer is still, you know, the absolute little, uh, you know, precipice of where you can click and whatnot. So it's not like it increases your click size or anything. The pointer is still exactly the same. 
Um, before anybody comments, yeah, this is within TOS. Uh, tons of people have been using Yellow Mouse. It's just a cursor change. Um, so, you know, don't comment about how it gets TOS. All right, none of that. Uh, but yeah, it's very simple actually to get this up and running. Super, super easy, right? You download, you install, you run it as administrator. That's important. Uh, because if you're running in like full screen, if it's not admin, it might not work. I don't even know if it works in full screen. <clears throat> so that's another problem you might encounter. <clears throat> so I recommend going to <clears throat> windowed mode, excuse me. Uh, anyways, quick overview, control one cycles the cursors, control three, uh, control two gives big stuff. I don't recommend it. All right. And then control three cycles through all the colors, right? Control alt three, excuse me, control alt for all of these options. I'm going to rock the pink one. And then control alt increases and reduces the size anyways hopefully this guy helps you guys out uh i know i was having problems seeing my cursor and all of these beyond maps and whatnot even the high contrast cursor that they provided it wasn't really cutting it it kind of made it nice but it was really just like a very small black cursor with a white outline there and it was better than the original but it was still not good enough in some of these encounters and it's the same with the paid cursors they're cool and I like that they change when you click them. It's really cute, but I need it to be very functional when I'm playing, uh, especially, you know, streaming. I want to be able to click stuff. I don't want to sit here misclicking a bunch of loot uh, while I'm trying to play the game and whatnot. So anyways, I'll catch you guys in the stream. All right, peace out.